made the haul in their first year of eligibility. Champ Bailey, Ed Reed, Tony G. What do you guys make of everything else? You know, looking at Champ Bailey, Tony Gazzas, Ty Law, Ed Reed, some of the guys that were still in the league when I came in, they were the most dominant of that era. So the simple fact that I get to see these guys go in, it was a confirmation of what I thought when I played against them. Uh, there were only a few guys that when I played against them in real time, I was starstruck. Mm -hmm. um, and that oftentimes meant that they were as dominant as they were hyped up to be. You so tell congratulations. Me, you tell me Champ Bailey like, gave it everything he had every time he went against you. Well, he's legit. I mean, actually, we saw him this weekend, and, you know, he still looks like he's in shape. But I remember catching a ball up against Champ. Um, it's late in the game. I'm going down, playing for Seattle, and I get a, I catch a long third down. And it was one of my biggest achievements. I didn't score a touchdown. It was a simple fact that Champ Bailey was guarding me. I think to me, one of the interesting ones was Ty Law. You look back at this Patriots dynasty. Right now, it's Brady and Ty Law. Like, those are your Hall of Famers. Belichick will go there. Kraft will eventually get in. I'm sure Edelman will be a debate and Gronk will be in. But for us to go all these years with the Patriots and not have one of these dudes get in, Willie McGinnis never got in. Richard Seymour, there's an argument. He never got in. Finally, finally, one of these other Patriots players, then just Brady, is getting recognized by the Hall of Fame. And Law was on the ballot for quite a few years. I was surprised they got two cornerbacks in. Champ Bailey was a no-brainer. I was happy to see Ty Law. And I think very apropos, the weekend the Patriots win a Super Bowl based on defense, Ty Law gets in there as well. I'll tell you what, Isaac Bruce did not make it in again. And of all people to take one of those spots, Ty Law, who beat Isaac Bruce in the Super Bowl. And we sat down with Isaac recently. He has some very strong takes about how exactly that game went down, uh, right or otherwise. Uh, it, it was a surprise. He waits again. I, I personally, I, I think that the Champ and Tony Gonzalez thing is really cool. I, I remember vividly when Champ was traded from the Redskins to the Broncos. They would play the Chiefs all the time. And those two guys were the best players on the field. They used to have Champ guard Tony, like one-on-one. -on -one. He would come up to the line and guard the tight end because no one else could do it. Great, great class. You know me. I live for the first ballot guy. Of course. I've always wanted the Hall of Fame to have its own wing for first ballot guys. I know they never will, but the fact that we get three of them in one class and they're all guys that we grew up watching, it's very exciting. I can't wait till August. Yeah, I have a truly distinct and surreal honor of being on stage to present the class of 2019. I was in a Deion Sanders and Rich Eisen sandwich there on stage, and I do 15 hours of live television a week. I don't ever get nervous. My heart rate backstage when I knew I would have to go out and do that was through the roof. I don't remember the last time I was that nervous and it wasn't because it was in front of a lot of people. It's because with all of those guys back there, Ed Reed and the embrace from Sanders and the magic of the moment backstage before we went out there to announce them, the, the gravity of it was so significant and palpable that I was nervous that I was going to mess up or ruin it or not give enough time between, you know, you know, Gil Brandt and Johnny Robinson and giving them their due. It was such an incredible, magical moment. It always is at NFL Honors. It really is. I yeah. mean, they're legendary men. So yeah. you want to make sure that the moment is legendary as well. We'll be saying the them. stakes of saying Gil Brandt's name is different than throwing just, the news. I'm not kidding, though. <laughs> to Will Silva. Because yeah. there's no cue. So when they walk out, like, I don't want to, I'm not going to take away from Tony Gonzalez's time to then start the next one. It's just, you don't want to ruin the moment for Can't do a it. Gil Brandt. Can't do it. No, exactly right. Then Can't you do the do Adele Dazim and then you're forever. You didn't do That's, it. I did not do that. But it was an incredible moment, as always, at NFL Honors. Well, of course, you're breaking down the MVP. we got to get into Mahomes. This, uh, this Quite a kid. As well. I spent time with him. You guys spent time with him as well on the red carpet. This kid is the real deal, and I think we're just turning the page. What is he? He got the MVP now. He's my guy. The, M, the M stands for man. <laughs> Turns Peter into a kid. <laughs> that's, that's the magic of it. That is true. Much exactly. more to come here on Peter Pan over here. Wrapping it up in Atlanta.